Big Sugar loves this night. It's a marketing dream for the sugar industry. Sugar into my gut. Stripped of marketing and packaging, this is sugar in the raw. In the 18th century, sugar was so intricately tied to slavery. Wars were fought over sugar. Other than perhaps gold, no single substance has had a greater hand in shaping the history of the Western Hemisphere than sugar has. You know, it helps the medicine go down. Like big tobacco, the sugar industry has remarkable access to power. They're very shrewd and they're very savvy. They give magnanimously to both political parties. But we're talking about absolutely ridiculous amounts of sugars. On average, people are consuming more than their body weight in sugar every year. The soda companies have managed to install themselves as popular icons. Nobody ever thinks about the nutritional implications of that. Sugars are in peanut butter, bread, yogurt, hot dogs, hot dog buns. For a long time, sugar has been successful keeping itself out of the spotlight and in the food. Uh, they do not want to have exposed on discovery the ways in which they deliberately formulate their products in order to attract young children. They lose their limbs early, they go blind early, they lose their kidneys, they get cardiovascular disease. The idea that Coke is priced less than water just gives the whole show. People who are running the schools don't want to know about this. All over America and the world, there are companies shredding documents. Basically, Pepsi is selling sugar water to kids, and Wayne Gretzky is helping them do it. They behave like big tobacco. They need to be treated like big tobacco. The sugar of Pepsi seems to relate directly to the growing wave of the epidemic. Today, we're fighting sugar for other reasons. Sugar is this is a story of big sugar in all its dark majesty. Thank you.